Australia, haven't you? I have, yeah. I, um, I've had an amazing whirlwind week. I, so I was away last week, actually, on safari, which in itself was amazing. And then I got a phone call to say that there was going to be a round table on accessible travel at the White House on Tuesday. This was on Thursday or Friday. And could so I wait, get Where there? were you in safari? In, in safari? South Africa. Oh, wow. So I was in South Africa oh. and I had to potentially get to the White House on Tuesday morning. So I was like, oh my God, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Anyway, moved heaven and earth, made sure I could get there and got there and found myself on Tuesday morning sitting outside the White House, just pinching myself, to be honest with you. <laughs> so then basically I go in and what's, what's happening is, yeah, so there it is. And it's, it's, it's quite surreal, really, because you see it so often, you know, in, yeah. in your life. And you're like, wow, gosh, here I am. And I'm actually going to go in. But I'm, actually, I'm not going in that particular building. You go to the one on, on if you're looking at it, the so one on the right. So that is the West Wing. It's the West Wing. Yeah. So I go into the West Wing and what's happened is the um, Secretary of Transportation, Secretary Buttigieg, he's basically called a com like all of the disability activists in the US that are interested in accessible travel and he wants to do a round table to understand what are the, pro the problems that uh, we're all facing. And as somebody from the UK who's been spearheading a, f a campaign called Rights on Flights for the last, well, since I announced the campaign at the beginning when I was on loose actually in February because my wheelchair got broken by an airline. Anyway, so I've been campaigning over here. They, a number of advocates have been campaigning for the same thing over there and they've brought us together for this amazing event. And I'm sitting there in, surrounded, in the West Wing, surrounded by all these extraordinary activists and we're talking about accessible travel and the things that we need to do. And suddenly, who walks in? Kamala Harris, the vice wow. president. Yeah, it was just so, I felt like I was in an episode of the West Wing. And I, so it, we sat there and we just, she listened to activists around the table talking about the problems with travel, whether it be on the train, whether it be on, on an airplane and the things that we need change. And, the, they, they basically committed to saying that what we're going to try and do is get a law through the Senate that will mandate that wheelchair users can travel in their chairs on an aeroplane. Now, this is news we have been waiting for, well, forever. Um, I mean, I can't believe that in 2023, that's yeah. still not a thing and yeah. an accessible toilet. That's the other thing that they're also going to be announcing imminently is that, the, that that will also be a part of this, this new proposed law that um, the accessible toilets will be installed on aeroplanes. And it is, it does feel archaic mm. that these simple accommodations have not been created. And will that be life-changing? Beyond life-changing. I mean, flying is, it's, it transcends mere convenience now. It's a, it's a, it's a human right, really, being able to, to fly, because we need it for, not just for work, we need it for, you know, you might have to fly for medical reasons. You might have to fly to family. Your family. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But, but you, you told me earlier that Kamala Harris was incredibly moved by a man who said yeah. that he'd... There was, that... An there was an activist there who was saying, basically, he had to give up flying because he has a high-level spinal injury and he can't transfer out of his chair into an aeroplane chair. And as a result, he's never been able to take his wife to Paris and that's all he wanted to do. And it really humanised the story. I think it really made people see... This is what we're, we're having to sacrifice. And, and, you know, I'm one of the lucky ones that can fly, but it's very difficult. But for some people, it's com at the moment completely impossible. impossible. Mm -hmm. So this law will change things if they can get it through the Senate. What I, what I want to know now is what's this going to do here in the UK? Is this going to influence our government to take the same measures and to, and to do yeah. more to protect us? Or are they just going to wait and watch and see and but be But airlines reactive? can also do things without even waiting for a yeah. thing from the government. Yeah. You said they? it. You yeah. took the words right out of my yeah. mouth. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> really important campaign. And I'm sorry to bring it right down, so Sophie, but you're in the White House. <laughs> Did you nick a wee ash tree? And <laughs> toilet roll? I mean, come on, you I would. I wanted to. I would. I know. I looked. I looked. Don't you look scandalised? Oh, don't you? Scandalized. You would. I didn't even know. I didn't. I didn't actually get to pinch anything apart from my name tag that just had my name and a little emblem of the White House. And I've just. Oh, that's I've got nice. that. I've got that. That's oh, it. I made toilet have. paper once from Fergie and Andrew's house. <laughs> 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 